One day, I saw this couch in a dumpster, and I say to myself, hold up, is this couch even ripped? Yeah. Okay, but does it smell bad? Yeah. And it definitely has sketchy stains all over it, which is why I'm not even sitting on it. But we all deserve a second chance, right? Even this couch, what if it dreamed to be something more? What if it dreamed to be the ultimate beach buggy or boat? I just cannot wait to see people's faces when we tear this thing down the beach or tear up the ocean or take it through a drive through But before we run or swim, we need to walk or roll. <laughs> We got a couch and wheels. <laughs> We're about to take it on its first beach run. But before we do that, let's take you back to last week and tell you the story of the headache that was building this couch and wheels. Coda, get out of here. Oh my gosh. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. That is a heavy couch. <laughs> as far as it can go. Yo, yo, yo. Oh, dude. You didn't just lick your hand, did you? Why would I lick it? I thought, I thought, I thought you licked <laughs> it. Give it a little. <laughs> One man's trash is another man's slightly more valuable trash. We just went and spent $200 at Lowe's buying wheels and other things, and we plan to turn this into the world's first Snuggy Buggy. It's a good name, right? Snuggy Tony thought of that, I think. One, let's go. Um, looking pretty good. We do not have this. Basically, this nut is too big for us, which is a very shameful thing for a man to have to admit. I do not have a socket that fits it, so uh, we've got a buddy coming who does. Um, then we'll tighten that up, and we've got our first wheel, which is very exciting. The steering system that we're going to use um, is the steering system of a wagon wheel. How does it work? Explain Basically, to us. there's a center point, and that's going to be your pivot point for the wheels. So the wheels are going to stay straight, but as you pivot, that's how they're going to steer. Right. Okay. <laughs> hey, Tony. All of the shots are, are just of you building it and I need them to oh, think. Oh yeah, dude, 100%. Think that I Yeah, no, 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 that's very I, true. I'm also a part of this. So, do you think you could just get one shot of Okay, you got it? Yeah. Okay, thanks. All right, you go ahead and finish that up now. That'd be great. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry there, bud. What you doing, Tony? <laughs> Trying to make a 5/8 washer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got, we got something. <laughs> oh. So satisfying. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome back to day two. We succeeded into making it into a vehicle in the sense that it has four wheels now. That's a good thing. The bad thing is that it doesn't actually steer. I mean, it steers really well when it's on its back, right? But as soon as you put the weight on top of it, it, it just like sandwiches itself and there's a lot of friction with the wood, so. Okay, I'm not gonna bore you with today's efforts. I spent a few hours trying to put wheels in between the axle and the frame so that it would steer easier. And for reasons that I still don't understand, it didn't steer when weight was on top of it. So it was time for a final solution. That night, I happened to find a giant swivel wheel in a store called Tractor Supply. So I figured I'd throw that on the front and then try and figure out a good way to steer that. Some of the kids from the neighborhood saw me working and came over to help. Uh, down here is like the like where this one plank um, like ends um, it, it's like you know it's like okay you can let go okay like heavy oh it's heavy pass me the end I'll help you with that you can put this screw for this plank and then for this plank also. I actually think that's a great idea yeah get my one of my pieces of hair in my own eye Oh, I hate that. Yeah. Everybody, this is Davis. I'm taking him under my wing, or rather, he's taking me under his wing to complete this project. And now for the most exciting part, we get to test the steering. You gotta push out in front of you. Yeah, and I'll try and steer. The steering system we implemented works perfectly, especially when it's moving with momentum. Davis and I took turns riding and pushing. He actually enjoyed pushing. I promise I didn't force a 10-year-old to push me. But guys, we did not design this thing to get pushed around in the parking lot. I'd say it's time for its first beach test. Hey, at 
editing Jack in the future. So yeah, the, I mean, the tie popped, which is funny, but watching this footage back, we found it flipping hilarious. I, way more funny than it was. I think it's one of those things when you think you had a near death experience, but you're so relieved, you process through laughing. Anyway, just bear with us through that. But hey, at least I have a manly laugh, right? <laughs> But once again, our laughs were short-lived. A cop truck was on the horizon. Garrett bailed. Surely this violates some kind of law. I frantically thought through all the advice from my months of watching TikTok lawyers. This was my time. I was ready. I'm a little disappointed. I kind of wanted to tackle the situation. I guess maybe there isn't a law for him to pin me on yet. My goal <laughs> to put the cops in a situation where they have to create a law. That's named after me. Maybe one day, but I realize that's probably the kind of thing you're careful for what you wish for. Since we only had about 45 seconds of fun on the couch, we decided to have some fun with the rest of the day. I've got this cool longboard with massive wheels. Really fun to pull people behind on the beach. It was an absolutely amazing evening. Now let's do something that I should do more of in life. Reflect on yesterday so that we can learn for tomorrow. Wow, Jack, that's deep. Oh, this is, this is uh, everybody, this is Garrett. He's filming videos now for <laughs> how long? We don't know. He might be fired. Or he doesn't pay me. Don't tell, don't tell him that, man. I can, I can get in trouble for that. He doesn't pay me. I'm a minor. No, no. <laughs> Let's think about wins for the day. First of all, that thing hauled up like 800 pounds without the frame breaking. That's a win. Second of all, the wheels actually did really well on the hard sand. That's a win. And the third thing is when the tire like exploded, the whole thing just dragged instead of like flipping which like if this was designed in a way that it just flipped as soon as something stopped working that would be really dangerous i think that dragging instead of flipping is a big win okay things to improve on i want to shore up the wheels you can see that they're they're kind of just like four by fours like so what that does is when there's a lot of weight on it the wheels just kind of go out like that basically i just need to add like one big piece of wood in between the two to hold it together. I think that'll work. Okay, secondly, I think in the future, we're just gonna stick to three people on this thing just to be safe. And finally, I wanna add a quick release to this thing. Right now, we've just got like the, 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 the whole car is like hooked up to the couch by these uh, eyelet hole uh, things. And if, if the couch flips or if something goes bad, the truck is just gonna keep going and dragging the couch, which is potentially dangerous. Actually, very dangerous, definitely. So we need a quick release. We need a way that the driver, anyone that's sitting on the couch can immediately detach themselves from the truck. So check this technology out. We've got one end, this end might be attached to the car. Then we've got the other end that could be attached to the couch. That end leads to a little like T, basically. I think that would be really easy to recreate with stronger hardware. The car side goes on loops through and if you pull it back through a pipe it locks up so that as long as there's tension these two are always going to be connected so we got tension we got tension the couch is riding it's a great old time oh no something goes wrong boom release how cool is that you're welcome i promise you guys i haven't been able to find any kind of quick release online um, this is I, I think we're just going to steal this kiteboarding uh method and it's like maybe we use some kind of pvc with like a heavy gd rope and I don't know, we're gonna figure it out. But um, anyway, that's what I wanna do for the next time. Okay guys, well that's it for video one. I hope you enjoyed, thanks for hanging out. We're gonna be back in part two and this thing is only gonna evolve. You guys remember what I was saying about building this thing into a boat as well? All right, like, comment, those things really help me on this channel and consider subscribing if you enjoyed this. Okay, we'll see you in the next one.